obnoxious sound in the background that's just my wash going on first thing i did this morning was wash the sheets desperately needed to be cleaned i just realized we didn't clean it after we were sick and that was a huge necessity that we had to do we are resetting for the new year for 2024 i know i'm a little bit late to this but literally january 2nd and 3rd was where the beginning of my sickness happened and that lasted all of last week so today is my first day back my first day back on youtube healthy my goal today is to do a full-on reset the house is not completely dirty or messy but it desperately needs like a good focused little deep clean around anything that we that have been forgotten and ignored for the past week and a body reset i gotta wash this hair i gotta do an everything shower all of that and also getting back into my health routine to get me through today's little reset i'm gonna be taking my ag1 morning drink which today we are partnering up with them so once again thank you ag1 for sponsoring today's video we're resetting our home our body and our health and with that it means prioritizing my health by taking formulations such as one that supports immunity AG1 is a science-driven formulation supplement. Oh, hi, Wednesday. Just moving my camera over here. They're a science-driven formulation supplement of micronutrients, phytonutrients, essential symbiotics that supports the whole body health with the best and highest quality ingredients they can find. It's important for me to consume anything that replenishes my daily nutrients. So by preparing this first thing in the morning, it fits great into my wellness routine. It is a new year, and I bet everyone is starting on their healthy New Year's resolutions and all that. I'm sure a handful of people are struggling to figure out creating healthy habits and like where to start with what supplements to take for our overall body health. I'd say it is a very confusing industry that's constantly giving us multiple suggestions on what vitamins everyone's supposed to take to the point where it gets so overwhelming that I feel like everybody ends up giving up on that habit on trying to stay healthy. For AG1, it's very simple and easy. It's just one simple scoop and it is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and whole food source ingredients that supports our brain our gut and our immune system now what it benefits is your focus and energy with ingredients like rhodiola magnesium and b vitamins all of that works to support sustained energy ag1 also benefits your metabolism let's say you struggle with stress or mood imbalance from the powerful plant extract ag1 helps promote mental clarity alertness and better focus it's gluten and dairy free vegan keto and only one gram of naturally occurring sugar per serving Good. Now my new year's resolution is to have less coffee, which I'm doing pretty well so far I have not had one espresso the entire month of January a little hard for me I do miss my shaken espresso So since I've occasionally taken AG1 for a long time now whenever I do manage to commit to it I feel a huge boost in my focus and energy They help manage my stress while supporting my digestive health and my immune system I'm gonna make this right now if you're thinking about starting to get into any healthy habits starting with AG1 be sure to use my link that's on the screen or you can click the link below in the description using that link it'll give you guys a free one-year supply of the ag vitamin d3 plus k2 and five travel packs with your first purchase so let's go make this right now
I mixed mine with water and white cranberry juice and it's literally perfect. Of course, I'm over here with like five drinks. We already had breakfast. The sheets are washing and the clothes are drying. First thing we were tackling is the kitchen. Definitely gotta clean that sink, gotta clean these floors, the counter, especially that microwave. That microwave does need to deep clean. Then we're gonna tackle the bathroom. We're going to deep clean the sinks, the floors, everything, cat litter. Just wipe around. It's kind of like a Sunday reset today, but today is Tuesday, so. We're also going grocery shopping, so the fridge is also gonna have its own little reset so that we have room for the new groceries. Mm. And that's basically it. So let's get started on this kitchen. So satisfying to clean back there, especially this one. I'm gonna give this information out on my little cleaning products. I use distilled white vinegar for all of my cleaning products. My disinfectant spray is filled with water, and probably some lemon juice, like freshly squeezed lemon juice, a lot of vinegar and like essential oil. And I save so much money on buying like multi-purpose sprays or disinfectant sprays, I just make my own. So I have my little container here of white vinegar and I'm going to refill a little bit of my disinfectant spray bottle but right now i have this bowl of water and mainly vinegar and i'm gonna put it in the microwave to microwave for a little bit so that like the steam of the water and the vinegar kind of mists the entire microwave so that when i open the microwave i can easily clean around it Put food in there so if you guys ever want to start the new year with healthier cleaning supplies without all the chemicals I recommend using white vinegar and mixing it with water and boom You already have a disinfectant little spray with absolutely no chemicals unless the fabuloso I only put a little bit of fabuloso trust me. It just smells amazing <laughs>
Matt usually has to go outside to empty out the vacuum trash just cause all the dust and all the dust mites will just like go all over the air in the house so it's much, it makes more sense to just do it outside. And Katie's like to come and watch him. <laughs> Died. Okay, since I gotta wait for the vacuum to charge, I'm just gonna wipe some of the mirrors around because they are dusty. <laughs> It got so dark so quickly. It's so cloudy and gloomy today. It's been gloomy for like days now, weeks now. What am I saying? I wanted to jump up in here real quick to announce to you guys something that I've been procrastinating on for a bit. And I wanted to announce it in a much more like longer, cooler, different way. I don't know. I guess this is the way that I'm going to announce it. So if you've been following me for a while, you know around like 2020 and 2021, my boyfriend and I opened up a merch shop for my little catchphrase, good motherfucking morning. And we since then shut it down and chose to not sell anymore due to a lot of errors that kept happening throughout the whole process. And I felt bad that a lot of people weren't getting their items. And 
and we were just going back and forth like the printing company and all that however we finally found a way to maneuver it better hopefully this time it's going to be 10 times easier and everybody's going to get their product without things selling out without letting us know now on the screen we're going to be launching the mel's motherfucking merch shop back up and running with upgraded designs that we have from our previous shop it's the same slogan it's the same type of design but we upgraded it a little bit took a lot of time on it if you guys didn't know matt is literally an artist so he wanted to put his best creativity into everything by handwriting almost the entire slogan he did such a great job i personally love like graphic letter hoodies and sweatshirts so i wanted that to be the main little theme of the merch so i'll link it below in the description and i will set up a countdown on my instagram story to let you know the day of the launch when it's up and running and you guys are able to order your very own all right i just wanted to jump up in here and show you guys how the merch is gonna look and when the shop is up and running i'm out of breath just saying how it is all right get back to the video okay so currently we're about to go grocery shopping but before we do that we're gonna clean up this dirty cluttered little fridge not the cleanest not the cutest she got some things in her that are a little overdue like this chalula bottle completely empty you gotta be reorganized <laughs> Fridge is cleaned, dishes are washing in the dishwasher. We finished all of the deep cleaning in the house, mainly everything that we needed to get done. We're gonna go ahead to Aldi's to go get some groceries that we're super low on. That is gonna be filmed on my phone because I'm gonna be making a TikTok. So we're gonna transition from the camera to my phone. So we'll see you when I get back. My little grocery fit of the day, I got my Gymshark leggings, my Zara vest, Amazon long sleeve, and my Uggs. I'm just here for support. I have to take off my hair clip in the car. If you know, you know. First stop is Aldi's because that's where I get kind of like my miniature things at grocery stores that are a little bit more cheaper, lesser quantities. And then after we're going to Costco because that's where you bulk your shit up. $46. I love all these. My hair looks like a complete mess. Next up, we're at Costco. Yeah. I need one thing to at least snack on. I'm gonna go to Costco and not get Costco pizza. Always put your carts back, y'all. This is rewarded.
Okay, I'm back from the grocery store and I went to check my planner to see what else I have left to do today and it's literally like 5.30 in the afternoon and I forgot that I have to go to the gym today and do some upper body and abs. So I'm going to get dressed real quick and start heading to the gym. Should I do an all black today? I wanted to hit like upper body today because yesterday we did some cardio and did mainly legs so i feel like doing a upper body and ab day feels like the vibe tonight today took a lot out of me so right after the gym i'm gonna take a shower make dinner and then just go straight to bed but i'm also gonna plan the rest of my week on my new planner that i just showed you guys i'm not gonna lie last night i knocked out before even finishing half of my work it really depends i've been so tired lately and working a lot so who knows if i'm gonna be able to remember to end off this vlog or not out of sight yeah, like I said, I'm going to gym, work out, take a nice shower, and I feel like that shower is going to knock me out because now I got to make dinner, which is going to be chicken parm. Chicken parm will be pretty easy. All I got to do is just make the sauce, boil the noodles, and air fry the already crispy chicken in the air fryer. I'm already tired. I feel like taking a nap right now, but got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Baby, come and talk to me. Yeah, baby, wanna sing. So passionate, like Jackson, five heartbeat, temptation. Girl, don't keep me waiting. I love you, that's Cupid, that's soul child with the music. You my boo, that's Alicia. I told you I need you, that's Jazz. And baby girl, you back. So won't you come in? Talk to me.
think this is the quickest dinner I ever prepped before. It's really simple. I just boiled some water while I was in the shower and made some regular marinara pasta with air fried breaded chicken topped off with some Parmesan cheese. Then I have a side of romaine lettuce with some Caesar dressing. So basically this is a chicken Parmesan with Caesar salad. My root beer little poppy soda. We're gonna enjoy our little dinner and then head to bed. Cause when I tell you my feet are in so much pain, I need to sit down. so tired you know that point where it happens where you forgot to put your seats on the bed you're literally so tired to even put them all back on that is me right now like i just want to knock the fuck out right now i don't even feel like brushing my teeth but i got to and i gotta put my sheets on so